What's up, Stack Collectors? It's your boy H Stats back again with another review. As you can see, finally came the Joker. Uh, this is uh, Lee Bermijo, the Joker. Uh, I mean, I've been waiting for this for like, oof, and it's finally here, and I'm excited to show you guys what this is all about. Um, so, if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit subscribe. Uh, this way. You can see like all the latest uh, reviews that I have to bring. So with that said, check out the uh, art box. Let's get this bad boy out the box. Okay, so here we go with the opening. As you always, this is Prime One. There's some advertisement for the, uh, what is this? Uh, this is for the, the new Joker movie. Um, and then of course you got the um, instruction manual that comes with it, how to set it up. And let's get this guy open. Up. This is uh, the first box, which is probably going to be the base. All right. And I'm always keeping my fingers crossed because customs. Okay. Oops. Okay. So this is not the base. This is actually the the bigger box is actually the Joker piece itself. So um, just gonna show you guys like what it looks like in the box. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead and here are some heads already. Whew. This is like superior. This is superior. But um, this is one head. So this is what it looks like in the box. Let's see what the base looks like and come right back. Okay, so I already cut the, uh, the box open to make this a little bit shorter for you guys because I'm really excited. Um, okay, so it looks like it came in good condition. Wow, this is incredible. Like it's, I've been waiting for this part just to hold this base because like this art piece right here of the uh, Joker Batman is just like incredible. And I think um, this is one of the reasons why I decided to uh, get this piece, not only because of the art and um, the statue, um, the story behind it as well. But let's put this bad boy together and get him on the round table so we can have some fun. <sighs> wow, this is, this is incredible. Um, I don't even know how to describe this one. I mean, I am basically this is mind blowing. Um, Prime One did an amazing job. I mean, this is like, wow. But just to give you guys like a quick uh, background story on the Lee Bermejo uh, Joker uh, in the comic with uh, Lee Bermejo and uh, Brian uh, Azzarello, um, this Joker is not an origin Joker. Um, we see him basically fresh out of prison. I mean, not prison, but Arkham uh, Asylum. Somehow he convinces uh, that he's no longer insane. Like, really? So um, I don't want to give away too much, but this guy is basically, this Joker is trying to get his businesses back. And what makes this uh, Joker one of the, the most sadistic, uh, insane, evil Joker ever we see him going in the comic to one of his uh, businesses, which is a strip club. Um, make a long story short, the manager wasn't handling his business right. So this guy asks him, the manager, if he would like to uh, have his talk with him in the back. And we see the manager coming out of the, uh, from the behind, uh, skinned to death. And how evil can you be? Um, and then another thing what also makes just Joker, I mean, what was really disturbing in the uh, Brian Azzarello, the Romero uh, comic, he is like totally, totally evil. Uh, there's a part where that just took me back where he breaks into an elderly couple residence. I mean, brutally murders them and like lays on their bodies. I mean, wow. So that battering to the eye is uh, really well deserved. But um, that's that's a little bit of it. I don't wanna give away too much. I would say if you guys uh, see this as interest, I would really, really read that comic. It's very dark. And also um, just to add, there's some 
controversy too behind this um, uh, uh, Joker, which is very similar to the uh, the Heath Ledger uh, Joker. But uh, I've heard some stories that the sides for the Dark Knight movie came out two years before the uh, uh, Libra Mayho uh, Joker came out. So I don't know. But either way, hopefully those guys will work it out. This is a masterpiece. I mean, this is probably one of the most sadistic, evil jokers. You, that's just around. I mean, I can't even exaggerate it enough. But um, let's uh, check the details out. Um, this guy comes with actually three heads that are all mounted, have their own mount. Uh, so right now we see him here with the, uh, the battle ring to the face. The hair details on this is incredible. The paint job is insane. I mean, it looks almost close to realistic. Um, you have like his his uh, shoes. I don't know if they're gaiters or snakeskin, but the, the details on this is incredibly insane. I love the um, the chain Batman. The chains are actually make it's real. It's a real chain, and they detach quite easily. I mean, and it has some weight on it. So this is where I say this art is like actually incredible. And then the, the details on the pants, it's like you could just see it's it's you would think like it's mixed media, but it's finely sculpted. Um, so let's see what he looks like. Um, and, and the base, the base is incredibly detailed. It looks like real stone. Um, it's just worse can't even describe it. And then what I like about the um, the jacket, it's this will be you will really have to be incredibly clumsy. To break this, it's it's really hard. It's tough. It's not going to break. You will really have to like. I mean, if you had it on a, a level display and somehow there was an earthquake and it fell, possibly I doubt it might crack. But you don't have to worry about the uh, the jacket. So let's see what he looks like with um the other sculpted heads. Uh, this is him with the the really really dark. <laughs> <laughs> laughter uh, that's that's just uh, uh, priceless like <laughs> this guy's crazy and here's the other one with the more creepy look and don't worry guys I will zoom in so you can get a closer look of how this stuff looks ah man that is that is really creepy I don't think um, I'm going to be displaying it with that head it's just a really really creepy creepy uh pose and then uh finally we have him with the uh sadistic maniacal grin and that's just like whoa then we also have uh two uh different hands which actually easily come out i think i'm will most likely will display him with the gun and then you have here um Another hand piece that you just, oops, I'm sorry, that's the wrong one. <laughs> this is actually the hand, the bottom hand piece, which you can put in his playing cards. And that fits in there nicely. And then you can keep this hand here. <clears throat> so that's what he looks like with the uh, the Joker cards. And then also, um, this is him, oops. Well, of course I took it out. With the knife, I kinda like this knife. And then I, you can also display this, like this if you wanted to, just to make it look more cinematic. Um, I also have like the, uh, the Heath Ledger sideshow uh, Joker, but Usually I like the comic base kind of statues. I mean, this is, this is just excellent. I mean, words can't even describe it. I'll show you the back. They have the bat symbol with like the chains on the back here. Um, the fine print on the details. It's just amazing. Um, I think Prime One really knocked this one out. Um, this is something that's definitely going to stay in my collection for a really, really long time. Uh, I don't think I'm ever going to give up this piece. This is probably like, a 9.5 Joker, and I think one of the best ones out there. Prime one really knocked it out. Um, if you guys really, really are into uh, DC Comics, I would highly suggest read the uh, the Brian Azzarello Libra Mayho Joker and look at 
check out the backstory and you understand what I'm what I'm saying. This is an incredible piece. And um, again, you know, if you guys uh, like what I had to review today, just, you know, subscribe. I uh, appreciate your comments. And once again, you know, keep your stats up and play my beat. One. Ha, 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 ha.